All right, guys, it is time for Dollywood day two. I just got off of my ready for this uh, eighth ride on Lightning Rod. At least I think it was eight. It might have been seven, but it's like it's like up there. I think it was eight. But um, so we're we're uh, heading around. I mean, obviously this trip was for Lightning Rod. Like that was the main reason why we went here. But you know, while we're here, we're gonna walk around and check out the other attractions. Cause I mean, there's lots to see, uh, and there's lots of other changes kind of in the park besides uh, drop line and the kitty coaster. So um, I've been able to check out some of those, and of course, just ride lightning rod. I, that that uh, one that I just got off, that one had a 50 minute wait, which is much longer than yesterday. Cause yesterday it was a walk on throughout most of the day. So that's how I was able to get so many rides on it. Um, but there it is in all of its glory. It is as good as everyone says it is. So um, we're going to go and uh, I managed earlier today to check out some of the other roller coasters that we all know and love. But uh, that is except for one, which was Fire Chaser Express. Fire Chaser was closed, but uh, according to the wait times app, it is open. So we are going to go and head that way so that I can ride it. Um, obviously ran it before, but you know. Uh, it's always a good ride. Always fun to get back on some of these coasters that I'm not riding all the time, you know. Um, I will be back here in May, but, uh, you know, who knows what the status will be of all of these attractions. So, I'm thinking I'll probably go up, ride Fire Chaser, uh, maybe check out another coaster while I'm up there, and then I'll probably come back, do Lightning Rod one or two times. It'd be nice to get my number up to ten. That'd be so cool if I could walk out of two days of Dollywood with 10 rides on Lightning Rod, but we will see. So, we're just heading that way. Um, and you can expect footage of all of this coming very soon. Um, and uh, who knows, I mean, maybe if you're watching this late, it's already been posted, so. Uh, the other thing Dollywood is doing is they're currently celebrating Festival of Nations. So they have lots of these displays, and I actually went to the park a year ago today. This is filmed on March 23rd, I think. And uh, I was at the park a year ago today and got to see Festival of Nations. Look at this duck! Sorry, I have this weird thing for ducks. He's just sitting there. I got this cool food thing earlier. It was a Japanese stir fry or something. And while I was eating it, this duck was behind me. And he was like, quack, quack. And I'm like, what do you want? And he's like, quack. And so I'm like, alright, fine, I'll give you some food. So I gave him like, a mushroom or something, and he ate it, and then he looked at me like he wanted more. I'm like, no, I'm not giving you more. So he's like, quack, quack, and he left. It was a really, I don't know. It was a struggle. I'm going to get more of that later. Um, obviously, I mean, I was here in December, but uh, gotta, you know, you can't go to Dollywood without getting cinnamon bread. You gotta do it. So I'll probably get that before I leave. But uh, everything else is running uh, off the attractions. I got to check out the drop tower. Oh my gosh, guys, drop line is huge. This drop tower is enormous. You can see from just about anywhere in the park. It is so tall. You can see it from the parking lot. And like, you can barely see anything from the parking lot. If you've been to Dollywood, then you know that it's like impossible to see anything as you're driving up. But you can see the drop tower. It is so tall. I think also because Dollywood is built up on a slope, so the farther back you get to the park it starts uh, getting steeper or like uh, higher up higher in elevation so uh, and on top of being a tall ride it's high up so I think that is why you can see it from everywhere that's just kind of my uh, thoughts on it um, I'm gonna have a full construction update of that coming soon again if you're watching this late it's probably already up so go check that out um, but uh, yeah, it's a very nice day at the park. It was kind of cold this morning, but uh, it, it's good now. Um, a lot of people, if you look around, a lot of people are wearing pants, but um, I brought like a jacket, and then, you know, as the day goes on, you start shedding those layers. Um, so, uh, but I mean, overall, like, it feels very nice out. Um, so, a uh, good day to be at the park, and that, because it's a Thursday, crowds aren't as bad as they could be. Yesterday really was the day to be here, I guess. Um, but still, it's nice seeing the park uh, relatively empty. 
you've never been here, this is Eagle Mountain, so they have a bunch of bald eagles over there, and uh, some more birds coming up. So, got all those. We're heading this way, and if you've been to Silver Dollar City, then you know that, uh, you know, a lot of the pathways can be, like, tight, or where the midways aren't very wide, so look at this. I mean, this is the midway right here, so it gets skinny, so Dollywood is like that, too. Um, you have some moments that it's not uh, very wide, like your Cedar Fair or Six Flags Park. So it kind of gives it some personality. I also love how they have this, like, I don't know what you call this, trough of water or something like that. It goes all the way down. It's pretty cool. So we have Blazing Fury coming up here. Um, when I came here for a coaster Christmas in the Smokies in December, uh, that was the only thing open for a while, so we rode that so many times. So, like, uh, I think currently I've ridden Blazing Fury more than any other coaster in the park. Maybe? I, I don't know. The point is, I'll be passed on that. I can skip out. I've ridden it so much, so I'm just like, whatever. So, uh, we also got Tennessee Tornado coming up here. Um, Tennessee Tornado, last I checked, was a station weight. So is Thunderhead and Wild Eagle. So, all good stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. We're almost at Fire Chaser, but uh, I'm just getting a little tired, and I think I need to change out my battery pack. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for all that awesome footage coming very soon. I'll catch you guys later.